My problem with Sarah is all I get to hear about is her man, okay? And we all got men too. Just because her man is Jesus, we don't have to hear Jesus, 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 Jesus. You know, like Jesus already, enough with Jesus. I'm so sick of it. All I wanna do is be able to once in a while talk about my man, Simon Peter, who be doing his thing, catching fish for me, bringing it home. Bringing it home, rubbing it on himself, rubbing it on me. It's like real flash. It's crazy, I shouldn't even be mentioning that. I've got news for Sarah, and I think I can speak for the rest. Her husband is not God Almighty. Not in my book. Thursday night, okay? Thursday night, they're about to throw another party. Jesus is gonna do something with just him and the boys. are gonna be chilling, doing a thing. You know what I'm saying? Drinking their magical beer, whatever, and the fishes, and they don't wanna invite Judas again? Again? Really? Really? You know how they do that in, like, in my hood? It, it don't go down like that. And I keep trying to explain to Sarah, you just asking for it. You asking for trouble. It's messed up. It's messed up. So, <laughs> Judas being snubbed, it is like a big deal, right? And that cannot happen again. So as I says to my husband Thomas, I says, Thomas, Judas is on the guest list, right? Thomas says, of course, it's me, the 13 fellas from work, it's all gonna be great. I says, Thomas, uh-uh, I did not see Judas's name on that guest list. So Thomas says, I doubt that. So I'm at the market with Mary the other day. So I says to her, is Judas gonna go to the, the thing Thursday night, you know, the dinner with all the boys? You know what she says to me? First time I'm hearing about that. I said, no, it's not. I told you. She said, no, Judas wasn't invited. I said, of course he was invited. And if he wasn't invited, then it must have been an oversight. I make mistakes. I'm not the son of God. That's, you know. <laughs> Judas was not invited. I keep his schedule. We weren't invited to the Fishes and Loaves party last weekend either. We ended up staying home. Got takeout from the Olive Garden, the original. So I asked Sarah, who did you use for that loaves and fishes party? It was amazing. I mean, the loaves, just gorgeous. The fishes, oh my God, to die for. She says it was a miracle. I said, oh, your miracle caterers up in the corner of Galilee and get somebody? She's like, no, it was a miracle. I'm very frustrated. I, I feel very, very ganged up on. I mean, I have no place to let out my anger and frustration. I mean, first of all, Jesus, he's got his own service, okay? He's very, very preoccupied. I mean, I can't get his attention for nothing. I don't know what to do. And now he's gonna have this dinner with just the men on Thursday night. He doesn't even tell me. What's that about? You know, I've had a lot to get used to. My father-in-law, my perfect mother-in-law, and the fact that I have been married to a man who is so chaste, he has not touched me the entire time that we are married. I said to him, you know I want children, Jesus, but in order to have children, we have to try to have children. You know what he says to me? Trust me, we can. Just ask my mother. <laughs>